The teacher at the local school had a project that she wanted the students to participate in. They were going to tell a story and then uh, give the moral of the story. So she asked for a show of hands and uh, Becky raised her. She said, okay, Becky, you go first. And she said, my, my father worked out at the hatchery and uh, he took a bunch of eggs. He was going to take them home and uh, you know, hope they eat some of them for eggs and hope some of them turn out to be chickens. So he counted and uh, he figured uh, there was going to be about a, a dozen chickens out of it. So on the way home, riding, riding on the wagon, the uh, wagon hit a few bumps, hit a few potholes, ran over a few rocks, and um, a lot of the eggs cracked. And when they got home, it, it didn't turn out like uh, Papa had hoped there wasn't going to be many chickens after all. She said, okay, well, what's the moral of that story? She said, well, you don't count your chickens before the hatch. The teacher said, oh, my God, that's a good story. Okay, who's next? And so uh, little Peggy raised her hand. She said, okay, Peggy, what kind of story you got for us? She said, well, my father also works at the hatchery. Thank God for the hatchery. And uh, he, too, uh, was going to take some eggs home. And uh, there was no room up front in the wagon where it would have been a, a, a softer, more padded ride. So he put them all in a, a, a basket in the back of the wagon. And on the way home, probably took the same path. He had several bumps and potholes and rocks. Real bumpy ride. And uh, cracked most every egg. When we got home, Papa was, was really upset that this had happened. And the teacher said, okay, okay, what would be the moral of that story? And she said, well, you don't put all your eggs in one basket. And the teacher said, my God, that's a good story. Well, in the back of the room, little Johnny was jumping up and down, asking to be called on, me, me, me. The teacher thought, oh, my God, I don't want to. She had made a vow to teach every student equally and to give them all a quality education and a chance in life. So she said, okay, Johnny, what, what do you have? You have a story, a moral story. Johnny said, well, this is about my Uncle Terry. And he didn't work at the hatchery. He didn't like anybody who worked at the hatchery. This story takes place in a, a country far, far away in the country of Vietnam, in the province of Da Nang, near the Ho Chi Minh Trail. And the teacher said, okay, Johnny, get with it. He said, well, my Uncle Terry, uh, he wasn't very well liked. And the teacher thought, Go figure. He said, Uncle Terry, one night while he was asleep, his uh, platoon, it, real quietly, they packed up. And they uh, snuck off and they left Uncle Terry there with uh, nothing but a AK-47. They had taken off a dead gook. Teacher said, Johnny, we don't use racist terms like that. He said, oh, off a dead Charlie. And the teacher had to explain to the other students what Charlie meant. She said, okay, well, that's a little better. And he said, uh, they left uh, Uncle Terry uh, an AK-47 and, and a couple of bottles of Jack Daniels. When he woke up, he was confused. Why would they have left him like this? He no longer felt like he had purpose in life. What was he doing over in this faraway land fighting the yellow man's war? Teacher said, Johnny, he said, okay. 
he was um, upset. So he took one of those bottles of Jack Daniels and he downed it. And um, he gathered up his uh, Kalashnikov and that other bottle of whiskey. And he headed to the jungles of Vietnam. And uh, he wandered aimlessly for a while until he came upon a village. And uh, my Uncle Terry, he was still torn about what had happened and unsure of himself. The uh, Jack Daniels had crept into his brain and it was causing further confusion and anger. The teacher said, okay, Johnny, get with it. He said, well, my Uncle Terry, he drank uh, some of that other fifth of Jack Daniels. He took his Kalishnikov and he aimed it toward the sky in an arcing-like manner, much like the the farmers back home do with their scythe when they pitch the hay in an arcing-like manner. Uncle Terry fired into this village and the, the bullets came down in a hell, much like the, the hay would come down from the scythe in an arcing-like manner. The teacher said, okay, Johnny, can wrap it up. He said, well, afterwards, he had fired every round from his Kalishnikov. Uncle Terry realized that he had killed every man and every woman. And by God, I hate to say it, but every child. And Uncle Terry reached down to get something out of his pants and he realized his pants were wet and he he thought that he had uh, urinated on himself. And, and my Uncle Terry felt shame. And then uh, he was gathering up the rest of his uh, equipment off the battlefield and was going to head back into the the jungles of Da Nang, the country of Vietnam, and possibly down the Ho Chi Minh Trail. And the teacher said, all right, Johnny, wrap it up. He said, well, my Uncle Terry, he, he kind of fell back down in his pants, and um, he realized this was not urine after all that it was ejaculate. Uncle Terry had, had come on himself during the excitement of this attack. And then pride was where shame once was. And that's the end of the story. The teacher said, my God, Johnny, what could possibly be the moral of that story? He said, well, you don't fuck with Uncle Terry when he's been drinking. <laughs>